going on everyone? Alex from Detroit Speed again. I promised another project update in our last project update video with Larry's Boss 302. I said we would give you a look at Bob's 69 Corvette. Um, so it's the Monday before Good Guys PPG Nationals. We're getting ready to load the cars up today so our truck driver Dustin can get on the road. So while it's quiet in the shop right now, I figured I would take the time to show you around the car before the show. Um, so we'll get ready to dive into that. But before I show you the car, I wanted to let you know we have brand new apparel on our website, new hats, new shirts from Dickies. Everything's been designed by Graphic Disorder. Um, and I'm barking a hat right now. This is our 69 Camaro 50th anniversary snapback. Uh, we also offer this in a flex fit hat. So if you're not a huge fan of the snapback style, we have plenty of flex fits for you as well. So I'll put the link in the description below so you guys can check out our new shirts, new hats, buy some, represent Detroit Speed everywhere you go. So now I'll flip around the camera and show you Bob's Corvette. So here we have Bob's 69 Corvette. This is the second build we've done for Bob. Uh, we also did a 67 Chevy 2 not too long ago. This kind of falls under the same theme. He wanted the perfect blend of race car and street car, uh, something he can take the track days, take to the autocross, but also it's fully street legal and you could just daily it if you really wanted to and take it on the street. So it has a Ford's line GA3Rs. We're a huge fan of Ford's line wheels, if you couldn't tell. And we use them on pretty much every build. Um, they have the right style wheel for everything that we do. So Bob was a fan of the GA3s. Um, I think we also did GA3Rs on his Chevy 2. Don't quote me on that, I'm not 100% sure, but I think we did. And we run these wheels on our C3 test car as well. And they're just durable. They handle everything you throw at them and they just look amazing as well. I mean, you really can't go wrong with that. And uh, stuff behind those wheels. We have AP Racing Pro 5000s with their uh, J-hook rotors. Those are on all four corners. Six piston front. And I believe we're also six piston rear. Yep, Pro 5000s in the rear as well. So maximum stopping power. It's a light car, has a lot of power. So the right amount of brakes is necessary for this car. And uh, since we're talking about power, let me go ahead and pop the hood. Let me can show you what's going on under there. You can kind of see peeking through the uh, track spec louvers we put on there. Shout out to John at track spec. He actually sent us the CAD file for these louvers so we can machine this custom bezel just to kind of make it a little more factory looking. So. Shout out to John, track spec louvers are completely functional and they look good as well. So, pop this hood. So, mildly built LS7, uh, Bob's engine builder put this together and sent it to us. So, I'd say you could probably expect somewhere close to the 600 horsepower range at the crank for this engine, which is more than enough for a car that weighs probably just over 3,000 pounds, maybe 3,200 or so. Light car, big power, big brakes, big tires. So that's just the perfect combination for any race car or street car. Uh, we're running Tilton dual master cylinders, Tilton reservoirs. We also have a CNR radiator. CNR, uh, they do a lot of custom applications for all of our project cars, dual fan setup. So maximum cooling power. And we can't forget all the Detroit Speed goodies under the hood of this car as well. So we have our select -a speed wiper kit and this model car has the wiper door as well. So we actually have a motor that actuates the door. So when you flip on your wipers, the door flips up, wipes the windshield, comes back down, door flips down. It's no longer vacuum actuated like the factory cars were. Uh, it's all electric. And we also have our electric headlight door kit on this car. So it's just, when you, when you start making big power, you're putting in engines that have larger cams and the vacuum is just not there. Makes things easier, less headaches. And plus it's just awesome that it works every single time. So you don't have to worry about not having enough vacuum to get your headlights going if you get stuck driving at night. So you just can't go wrong with it. Um, 
those kits are available on our website as well as our suspension kits um, which I'll get to so I'll put the link in the description below so you guys can check that stuff out um, so front suspension on this car is our speed ray fabricated coilover mount uh, we offer two different kits we have a bolt-in coilover mount so it's kind of a stock style coilover and then we have our fabricated one so this piece right here you weld in it allows you to run a uh, monoball style shock for upper and lower so it just makes spring changes a lot easier at the track and with our kit we also sell you some shims so you can make camber adjustments just crack these uh, nuts loose slide it out add some more if you need more negative camber or pull a couple out and you get more positive camber so with these kits um, we have maintenance and adjustability in mind because we test these cars on the track um, we put them through their paces so we ensure that when you get a, a kit from us you're getting quality engineered parts that we trust um, and this kit is also it has a bolt-in front cradle bolts in the stock location and it also converts your steering to rear steer rack and pinion so modern suspension modern steering and i'll tell you from personal experience driving our c3 i mean the car just it handles like a go-kart it is amazing and in the rear we're running our deck link suspension kit which is an all new design all new suspension geometry we have a forged aluminum cradle forged aluminum uprights they accept a c6 and c7 hub pack so for maintenance reasons uh, if you ever need to swap those out, go to your local parts store, go to your local GM dealership, and boom, there you go. They bolt right up. And also, this kit makes adjustability and spring changes super easy because when you're at the track, all you do is take this bolt out right here. You can swing the shock out, drop the collar, drop your spring, put a new spring in, slide it back in. So, like I said, we, we abuse these cars every weekend on the track. So we ensure that everything's easy for you guys to work on. It's easy to put together. It's easy to adjust. And on this car, Bob opted for the JRI shocks, uh, double adjustables, and they also have remote reservoirs too. So high speed, low speed, rebound adjustment, compression, everything you need. Um, and we use JRI on a vast majority of our suspension kits you get them in all of our Chevy 2 front frames hydroform subframes quadrilinks uh, we trust JRI for just about everything because those guys they know what they're doing over there Ray Jeff and all of them so they have racing experience and that racing pedigree so we use them on everything um, what next what else should we talk about let's uh let's go on the interior Kept it fairly simple. It still looks like a C3 Corvette, C3 door cards. Uh, I believe these are Cobra seats. We had them reupholstered. Uh, we also have classic instruments, autocross series gauges. Go ahead and turn those on. So we've used these in our uh, test car as well. Very nice gauges quality they're always accurate and this car we have a uh, six-speed transmission we relocated the horn uh, we also because we have a, a momo steering wheel with a quick detach so we didn't want to stick a horn button back in here although that is an option so we move the horn button down here save your horn there you have an electronic e-brake as well so this car has uh, all the creature comforts of course, vintage air. You can't go wrong with that. So, I mean, if it's a nice hot day and you're just sitting in grid at the autocross, crank up the AC so, you know, you're not sweating to death in your suit. So, we think about everything here. You know, we want to make sure that you're comfortable, it rides great, it's got plenty of power, and serviceability is just easy as well so speaking of serviceability we'll flip around and i'll show you we have our fuse panel here right behind the seat and this is gonna be the tricky part I'm trying to show you this but give me one sec 
you pop this open, you have your battery, you have your traction control, you have your fire suppression system, and then you have your Holley Dominator ECU. So all of that is right behind the seats. We have this magnetic latch. So just go ahead and close that. Or you can pop that open. Everything's right there. This uh, little armrest pad in the center console, that comes out too. So you can gain access to some of the wiring harness, some connectors. It's the little things that uh, we put into these cars to just make it easy. You know, serviceability is always in mind, quality is always in mind. So I think uh, Bob will be happy to sit in this car for a while, take it on a nice cruise, and not have to worry about, you know, having those race car woes where it's uncomfortable. And, you know, this car is just, it screams comfortability, it screams practicality. So, and that's what we put behind every single one of our builds. And of course, we integrate it into a roll bar into this as well so when Bob does take it to the track it's safe and speaking of safety another cool little feature we put on this car uh, we call it the race plate so these are just thumb screws you can just take those off take off your registration tag and you have your fire suppression on the outside and your electrical kill on the outside so those are common requirements uh, at race tracks for safety crews so they're nice and visible. If anything ever happens, safety crews can just run up to the back of the car, push the button, kills the power, sets off the fire suppression, and crisis averted, everything's safe. So no worries with that. Um, we also have tow hooks equipped on this car that are clearly labeled. So it's just your perfect driver race car whatever you want to call it. it it's got everything in it so uh, we're pretty excited to bring this to columbus show it off let you guys see it so uh as bob gets out there and starts racing it we'll have more updates for you so that's pretty much all i have for you guys today we're gonna get this car ready to load onto the hauler so we will see you in columbus